our program. We are singles. We are single. <sighs> and yeah, this is a program that talks about singlehood, relationships, growth, character, spirituality. You can talk about every aspect. This program is fully loaded. So we'd like you to sit down, relax, call your family, your friends, your neighbors, everyone you know, to gather around because we are going to have a swell time today. And we'd like you also to subscribe to our channel. We'd like you to like, we'd like you to comment, and also please share as much as you can to your friends so that they can benefit from these wonderful episodes that will be releasing on this channel. Yeah, so on today, we are singles who will be discussing a very cogent topic. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Bruce Bambule. I mean, who are you? I'm, I'm a presenter. Oh, come on. What next? Who are you? Um, I'm a fashion designer. <sighs> who are you? I'm a child of God. I know you are a child of God. So tell me, who are you? I'm Jesus speaking. Yeah, like many of us will be asked. If we are just called a normal lawyer to say, who are you? We would come with our names, with our skills, and what we represent. But sincerely, I would love to ask you, who are you? Yeah. As a single lady, many people are just shouting, God, when? But have you failed to realize that the finding of yourself would pave a way in finding who would come for you? Yeah. You have to know who you are. And so, how can we know who we are? Yeah, you can know who you are by going intimate with God, finding a time to commune with your spirit. Then, during the process, God will begin to tell you who you are. God will begin to show you who he really called you to be. He will show you how to go about it. He will tell you your assignment. Do you get that? God is going to tell you your assignment. He's going to tell you what you will fit in. He will tell you the process, how you can go about it. That is how to know who you are. And more importantly, you see in the journey of finding the right person, the place of purpose comes into who would come to you because you are what you attract. If you are out there, you are waiting on God, you are waiting through God, you should find yourself first. If you have not found out who you are, you will just begin to say yes to every Tom, Dick and Harry. And more importantly, you may get confused. And also, who you are makes you know who fit into your dream that God has called you. Mm -hmm. If you're a man, you have to know who God has called you to be, mm -hmm. to know the kind of person that fits to your assignment. Mm -hmm. Not just anybody. I mean, let me repeat that again. Not just anybody fit into your assignment. You have to discover who you are to know who fit into that shoe God has called you to be. And also for a lady, you have to know who you are as a lady to know where to stand, your position in the life of your spouse, to know what to do, to know how to undo it. Not just anybody, maybe God has called you to be a wife of a pastor. You have to have the characteristics of a pastor's wife. Not everybody can be a pastor's wife because if you're not called for the assignment, you just fumble when you get there. So you have to mm. be prepared, you have to know your shoe, you have to know your place, you have to know your position in the realm of the spirit, you have to know what God calls you to be. Do you understand that? Not everybody also can be a wife of a businessman. Not everybody can stay, but not everybody can withstand the pressure of being a wife of a businessman. Not everybody can be a wife of a traveler because when your husband is not around, can, not everybody can stay alone in the house, lonely. The loneliness can also kill. But if you are called to be in that position, you will be fit into the position. Not everybody will know that something is missing. So when you feel that gap, there will be balance. Do you understand what I'm saying? And more importantly, don't forget that in the place of finding yourself, there's the place of process. 
the place of training, the place of, the place of waiting, where God builds you to be into the capacity of what he has called you to be. So as much as, number one, you have found yourself, it is more important also that you go through the processes that would empower you to be that thing that God has called you to be. So make sure that through God's help, you wait, you find yourself, and you go through those trainings so that you can come into the capacity of what God has called you to be. If you are out there and you have not found yourself, please do. And once you have found yourself, go through the trainings and my dare, the end results will blow your mind. And please don't forget to stay in your lane. Mm -hmm. I repeat, stay in your lane. God bless you. And so we have come to the end of today's show. My name is Akiyemi Precious and again your name is... I'm Bamideli Grace Tosa. We hope you had a swell time. Yeah. And what's the name of this one? Gilly. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.